Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonearena.com and right now I have the Lumia 925 in my hands. So yesterday Microsoft announced this GDR3 update for all the Windows 4.8 devices and they also uh, announced a new enthusiast program so that anyone interested can go and update their Windows 4.8 devices to GDR3 which brings a quite a number of improvements to the OS. So that's exactly what we did. It's a simple three-step process and if you want to do the same, you can check out our blog for the how-to tutorial on how to update to Windows Phone 8 GDR Update 3 on your Windows Phone 8 device. So check the links in the description below if you want to update and uh, let's proceed to what all the changes we have seen with GDR 3. So let's go through the uh, major changes first. Not so major because they should have been there uh, in Windows Phone 8 since uh, the beginning because Windows Phone 8 itself was an evolution of Windows Phone 7. So we expected a lot of changes but that was not so. Windows Phone 8 uh, was a substantial change under the hood but we are starting to see the user facing changes that have uh, come with the Windows Phone 8 GDR3 release. So uh, the biggest change here is that now we have a close button in the multitasking. So I'm just going through uh, a couple of apps here, Internet Explorer and whatnot and if I hold the back button you can notice that there is an X on top of all the stacked pages here. So before it used to be uh, just the list of recent apps but you can clear any of them. So uh, as you can notice the settings itself has taken up two uh, stacks. So if I just release them you can still have other uh, pages of the stack dedicated to other apps instead of just settings. So you can just clear them and you can notice the animation here going on. You can't obviously close the start screen, it's going to be always there. So yeah, that's the new multitasking X arrow on all the uh, uh, multitasking stack pages. So what Microsoft have done here is probably lessen the confusion that was there before. Uh, Windows Phone 8 came with fast resume multitasking so that you could directly hop into any uh, apps page just by clicking the tile you didn't even need to go to the multitasking menu to do that and you would even uh, fast resume from the app list so that was a big uh, change for multitasking but the way it has happened is that people continuously press the back button to close all these apps but now you can do it with just an x so that's much better so this is one of the main changes that we consider is substantial for windows phone 8 gdr3 Another substantial change is uh, a really interesting thing though, phone storage. So there has been a problem with Windows Phone 8 that storage management causes problems. Uh, they partially fixed it with uh, Windows Phone 8 GDR2 by uh, you know, removing the uh, temporary files in the other storage. But now the storage is completely detailed. This is, this, till this used to be the old menu. But this is the new menu in which all the apps, the system memory and the temporary files are being calculated. So that's the new phone storage app and you can view all the details of the apps and games and the apps and the memories. Uh, this is uh, also done by the storage check app that Nokia released. So this is pretty much similar but the storage uh, check app has more details on apps like what apps are installed. You can click on the details and see what all apps occupy, which amounts of data. So this is more detailed, but finally Windows Phone's own phone storage app gets slightly better. But after the Nokia acquisition, we think the storage check app will be very much appreciated as the uh, default app. So this is a completely new uh, uh, build of the uh, GTA 3 we have last year. So this is a brand new phone. So you see only 2.2 GB for the system. Before it used to be 2.8 to 3 GB. So they have actually reduced the system file size. And of course, a nice uh, little touch here. You don't want to delete them, trust us. And temporary files, these are the ones you can delete. So these are some of the files that uh, you know get stored temporarily. And if you want to delete them, the phone will do that for you finally. So that's one option we have got here. 
So yeah, that's the storage uh, phone storage app. Pretty nicely detailed, and this is uh, another one of the major uh, changes to the phone storage part of the settings. So another new feature addition is the driving mode. So let's go through the setup here. It says the driving mode turns off all notifications except text and phone calls when you're driving. So, which is pretty cool because when you receive a ton of WhatsApp messages while driving, it constantly beeps and naturally agitates you. So that's why it's here. So Windows Phone 7.5 had a really cool driving mode for Bluetooth headsets. It will automatically enable voice commands and voice replies to texts and calls but they have taken a bit further here by introducing notification management. So you can either ignore calls and texts or, or texts or both. You know pretty simple uh, if you click the ignore calls it will completely ignore the calls and same for the texts. And then you can also set up the uh, driving mode for the particular uh, Bluetooth device. So we have a surface here that uh, it's not actually a Bluetooth accessory, but if it is connected to the surface, uh, it will be enabled. So going to the next mode, we'll always uh, you know get to the finish menu. But yeah, that's the driving mode. You can also uh, change and uh, add devices later after the driving mode is turned on so the driving mode will turn on automatically when you're driving that's a call that the phone will take and this is uh, not similar to nokia's own call filter app that uh, they released as a part of amber update so yeah that's the new driving mode app pretty nifty feature i think microsoft might have uh, enabled this uh, in the wake of you know windows embedded automotive having a set of similar features which you can see with fourth sync so yeah, that's the new driving mode on Windows Phone 8 GDR3. And next, we have the uh, lesser known features. And these are some of the features that uh, have already been uh, requested a lot on Windows Phone. So one is screen rotation, which is pretty obvious. So auto rotate screen will uh, rotate the screen, whichever screen you are in except the home screen. So you turn it off and it doesn't rotate. That's the auto rotate feature for uh, Windows Phone GDR3. This is a pretty basic feature and they should have done it all the while long. So they haven't done it, uh, they hadn't done it. Now they have it, well at least finally they have it. So that's uh, one of the changes. And other changes is ringtones, custom ringtones for each and every uh, tune you have. So we haven't loaded any songs onto this phone. Uh, but naturally you will see all the uh, songs that you have in your folder show up at above uh, this Windows Phone folder as custom. So you can choose any ringtone, you can load up any ringtone onto your phone and choose them as your own ringtone for uh, not just calls, you can choose them for uh, messages, emails, uh, voicemails and reminders, anything you want you can change them to custom ringtones. So that's one new change. Another minor change that should have been there since the beginning, but then yeah, they have finally done it. And a lesser known change is the advanced Bluetooth feature. So Microsoft faced a lot of requests that uh, Bluetooth is not perfectly working on Windows Phone 8. Uh, Nokia did what they could. They added Bluetooth 4.0 support for many Amber devices. Uh, so. Microsoft have finally done it. They have expanded their Bluetooth stack and they have added a new connect in a different way to use speech with Bluetooth in my car option. So this is in correspondence with the uh, driving mode. And of course, a lot of uh, cars need this. So that's why Microsoft have fixed it. And uh, that's the uh, new Bluetooth changes. And that's about it. That's all the uh, changes that have come with Windows Phone 8 GDR3. There is also one more change which uh, is in respect to the internet sharing feature. So apart from Wi-Fi hotspot, you can also connect uh, to your uh, Windows 8.1 PC over Bluetooth. So that's what we tried but we are not able to get it connected for a longer time to actually test it out. Uh, it frequently disconnects and uh, 
that's uh, yeah that's one feature that we have not been able to test it out but other people are reporting that it is indeed working but we expect an update to be rolled out to fix this bug of uh, frequent disconnection with a surface so yes uh, that's windows phone 8 gdr3 you can see the about page here for the exact number so it's 8.0.10512.142 that's the os version and it does nothing to the from firmware so the amber update is still here to stay there is no change to the amber update whatever you had you cannot uh, uh, change it will not change which is for the good and uh, if you had installed all the apps nothing will change it's just an OS update and it will update really easily and nicely so what you have to do is uh, go through a couple of hoops perhaps and install the preview for developers app and just enable this enable preview for developers so that's as simple as that you will continue to receive all new OT updates uh, as a preview before the complete thing rolls out to everyone so you have you've got early access and if you think the features are substantial enough for you to change on your primary phone then go ahead and do it go flash gdr3 we have got a nice tutorial up on our blog so you can refer that too and it's free do hit the like button if you like this video and do hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like these Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.